Good morning, Spruceworth Falcons. This week is March 22nd through March 26th. Let's go to Kenningar for the letter of the week. Hi, my name is Nick, and I'm with... Nelly and Colt from Mc Miss McDaniel's class. What letter are you holding up? X. What does it make? What's the sound of the letter X? X. Can you name some words that start with the letter X or have the letter X in them? Fox, xylophone, and six. Thank you, kindergarten. Now to our report for the story highlights. Here are the high flyers for effort in kindergarten. Joseph Cohen Cooper. In first grade, Romeo Nate Lola. In second grade, Addie Carly Henry Cyrus Spencer. In third grade, Catherine Samantha. In fourth grade, Isaiah, Zoe. In fifth grade, Atrehu, Vanessa, and Taylor. Way to go, High Flyers! I wish to introduce our Nova officer, Officer Peterson. Officer Peterson, can you explain what a Nova officer does? So we, we teach the Nova program. Um, and what Nova is, actually what Nova stands for is nurture, opportunities, values and, uh, and accountability. Um, we teach children, uh, the fifth graders here in, in the schools that I teach at, uh, the choices that they make have consequences, how to be accountable, accountable for, for those decisions, uh, the dangers of drugs, gangs, um, also building a relationship between law enforcement and the community, um, letting children know that as, as law enforcement, um, we're here to help, we're not here to be scary, we're not here to, to arrest everybody, we're here to help. Um, and, I, and I try to do my very best to, to establish that with the kids here. Um, we also have a lot of fun, there's games involved in NOVA. It's like the D.A.R.E. program when I was a kid. I went through D.A.R.E., but NOVA is a different type of program. Um, I like it a little bit better because it's a lot more interactive, a lot more games that help explain um, you know, the values that we're teaching these kids. <laughs> Do you look after more than one school, or are you just like an officer for this? Yeah, I, um, I'm responsible for six schools, teaching six schools. So here at Sprucewood, uh, Lone Peak Elementary, Brookwood Elementary, Sandy Elementary, Altair Elementary, as well as Parkland Ele Elementary. That's so six in total. That's neat. i surprised you know all their names. Um, do you have like any favorite foods or drinks at all? My favorite food is Chinese food. I love sesame chicken and fried rice. So, you know, if you know a place to get some good Chinese food, share that secret with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about drinks? Uh, I love um, chocolate milk. <laughs> I think all the kids know that. I, I've brought chocolate milk in to teach with me a few times. True Mood Chocolate Milk with the Red Cap. It's my favorite. Thank you for coming, Officer Peterson. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm with Mrs. Saltseeder. Can you tell us how your class is celebrating International Women's Month? Yes, yeah, so we've been celebrating International Women's Month all month long in the classroom for March. Um, each day our class reads a different story during our hand washing break as the students come in and out. And we decided to theme our books this month to be about a different woman in history. Um, we've talked about different engineers, we've talked about artists, we've talked about dancers. So we're learning about a different person each day, which has been really fun for the class. That's neat. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? Um, so what we do is reread the story. I have a couple of our books here, and then some are also with Mrs. Lee in the library. She has a couple you could actually check out still. And then after we read them, the students fill out a page about their person so they can take it home and teach it to their family as well, which has been fun. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, and a really great one that we're doing today, actually, is about Mrs. Uh, Mary Blair right here, which is this storybook. And she was an artist at Disney. And she designed all the costumes for um, It's a Small World, the ride. So we're learning about her today with Mr. Hale, which has been really great because he's been able to take a project in to learn about the colors as well, which has been great. 
Wow, do your students enjoy it? They do enjoy it. It's been really fun to take the lessons from just reading them and take them into real life, which has been fantastic. That's very nice to hear. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mrs. Salt Cedar. Thank you. We currently have 78,603 care cards. Keep up the good work, Falcons. Hi, I'm with... Zoe. And... Brooklyn. Where do you guys' have crazy talents? I can do the splits. What can you I do? I can do a, a back walker. How did you learn your talent? I saw my sister doing so I want to do it. Um, I had lots of practice. Can you show your talent? Yes. Wow, that was great, girls. Good job. Hey parents, Officer Peterson here. So the Spruce Wood staff here has, has received a few calls from concerned parents. Um, they've been seeing me parking um, outside towards the end of the day of school and we're just kind of wondering uh, what's going on. If you see me, just know that you know I'm here whenever um, the school needs me and don't, you know, feel free to, to wave and say hi. Uh, I don't bite um, so, and I'm friendly. You can ask your fifth graders. I told them to say that. Just kidding. Anyways, um, so nothing major, just here to help and support as a team for Spruce Wood. Thank you. Now for Spruce Wood's current events. This week our fundraiser closes. Please turn your, your stuff on Thursday, March 25th. If you need another box of chocolate, bring your permission slip to the office. You can access the form online. See you ne next week, Falcons.